Hey everyone, I'm Isaiah Haney. I'm the ASB Vice President. And I want to welcome you all to the first virtual ASB Banquet. And I want to thank everyone for tuning in who's watching this and still is taking advantage of this opportunity. And thank you to the staff and faculty who coordinated this and put this together during these times, these unprecedented times. And we know it's sad that we can't do it in person, but we're still lucky to have this. So just want to welcome you guys to the first one. Thanks, Isaiah, and welcome everybody once again. We will now be hearing from Mr. Wager, our principal, and his remarks for this year. Hey, Bronco leaders. First, I want to thank you for your extra time and your effort and your creativity it takes to be a student leader. Um, you know, when you're a student leader, you never want to be the one who, to whine or complain about something uh, because the extra time and work you do is really should be seen as a, as a privilege and an honor. It is more responsibility for you and that's why I thank you for everything that you put into being in ASB and Senate and being that student leader. As they say, it is a blessing to be a blessing to others. So, and that's what you have been. You've been a blessing to others. You've offered leadership. You've offered your time and effort and energy that it takes to put on your dances and your events, uh, the, all the community service uh, things that you've put on. I really appreciate all that. And even though you may not hear it from the other students in on the campus, uh, they appreciate it as well, even if they don't know it. You, you are what helps to make Vista Marietta a, an awesome school, an awesome place to be, and uh, the most spirited high school in the nation. It is in due in large part to what you do. Um, I wanna thank you also for your, um, your, your leadership because leadership leaders like yourself see the obstacles and the challenges which you need to see, but you move past that. Leaders don't focus on the obstacles and challenge, but challenges, but they see this, they look for solutions and look for the silver linings and learn how to make lemonade from lemons. And that's what you're doing. And this is a crazy time we're in right now. I'd rather be with you right now eating street tacos or, or uh, pasta or Chick-fil-A or whatever it is for our, for our buffet tonight. But uh, unfortunately, we can't do that together. So we're going to virtually break bread and virtually be together, which is the best we can do right now. And that's what leaders do. They come together, they figure out how to make things work, and that's what we're doing right now. So thank you, congratulations for all the hard work you've done. Special shout out to our senior leaders who are leaving. Uh, this is an especially tough and unusual time for you, but I'll guarantee you this, you'll never forget it and you have uh, really stepped up as being the student voice, as um, representing the rest of the campus. Thank you very much. I wish you luck on your future. And uh, for those student leaders who are coming back next year, we have a big year ahead of us, a big job, lots of challenges like no other year before. So I look forward to working with you again as a team with our administration leadership and our student leadership um, I look forward to working with you. So good luck to everyone. Have an outstanding summer and good job. Thank you, Mr. Wager, for your wonderful remarks. We will now be watching a slideshow by Andrea Kaiser to look back on this amazing year that we had together.
Thank you, Andrea, for that wonderful video. We will now be hearing from Ms. Rossa and Ms. Cox to introduce our wonderful freshmen. Good afternoon, Broncos. I'm Ms. Rossa. And I'm Mrs. Cox, and we are the Class of 2023 Advisors. We want to welcome you to the ASB Senate Virtual Banquet. We just wanted to say that we had a wonderful year and we had so much fun with you guys. And um, unfortunately we couldn't finish our dodgeball, but, and we couldn't close our year out the way we wanted to, but uh, we love you guys. And we're just really excited that uh, we're, we'll be able to be with you guys next year. And we're, we just want to acknowledge all of you guys and thank you for um, allowing us to advise you and being the great kids that you are. Thank you, Ms. Ross and Ms. Cox for your kind words. We will now be hearing from the freshman class president, Milan Arafa, to give a recap of their year and to thank their advisors. Hi everyone, this is Milan Arafa, the freshman class president. I just wanted to thank all the freshmen for all the hard work they've put into this year. We've accomplished so much really, from float building for homecoming, the morning and break meeting attendance, poster making after school, rally setups till late nights, the few of us that attended mock prom, back to school night, helping out with the dodgeball tournament and selling blankets throughout the year. You guys did amazing and I can't wait to see what next year holds. I hope you have a great summer. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Milan, for all that you have said. We will now be hearing from Ms. Ross and Ms. Cox once again to award their class award to one of their outstanding freshmen. Hi, Nathan. I'm here on behalf of your freshman class advisors, Mrs. Rasa and Mrs. Cox. They had the opportunity to select one freshman that stood out for the class of 2023, and they chose to select you and honor you. Yeah. So, awesome job. Thank you and congratulations to the freshman class and their successful year. Next, we'll be hearing from Colonel Harrison and Mr. Murray representing the sophomore class. Good evening, I am Gavin Harrison, and on behalf of the other class advisor, Mr. Joe Murray, all of the staff and the administration of Vista Myriad High School, I would like to take some time to recognize and to thank the ASB members of the class of 2022 for their efforts during this school year. While the school year may have ended in a very strange way, they have stayed together and are continuing to work for what they consider their duties to help guide this school and make the class of 22 have a positive impact on Vista Murrieta. And they've done a fantastic job. It's a, it's a varied group. They have a variety of ways of seeing problems and attacking those problems but their passion is that they have they serve the school and it's a call to duty for them and they have come together and make a very strong group working together so without further ado Michaela Bautista Kennedy Bell Riley Berklight, Emma Blaylock, Anaya Boating, Kiana Bush, Tyler Clinton, Tanner Ennis, Geneve. Estrada, Hannah Garcia, Connor Hyde, Nicole Jacob, Gregory Lawless, Tiffany Lee, Mikhail Malari. Hannah Martin, Carly Murray, Kendra Nathan, Brooke Nelson, Andrea Nuno, Carrie Ann Roser. Rebecca Schumann, 
Natalie Schumann. Reagan Sinef. Karari Takashima. Taylor Tomlinson. Jasmine Wagers. Kaylee Wainwright. Alyssa Weaver. Rebecca Schuneman. And Alexis Sanchez. Thank you all for your hard work. Mr. Murray and I look forward to working with you in the future, and we know we're going to make a fantastic class of 22. Go Broncos. Thank you, Colonel Harrison and Mr. Murray, for your kind words. Now we're going to welcome sophomore class president, Mikhail Malari, to the screen. Hey, everyone. My name is Mikhail Malari, your current sophomore class president. This year, as a class and in general, has been full of twists and turns. From choosing our venue early in the year to figuring out what fundraisers worked best, this year has been one of experimentation and perseverance, especially for me. Our year came to a rocky start with our venue conflict, which involved lots of disagreements and debates, but at the end, we were able to nearly unanimously vote on our venue and end our conflict. I believe we have the creativity, resourcefulness, and diligence to make one of the best proms our school has ever seen. Next year will be a challenge, I know it, but we will get through this together. I'm confident in next year's class officers, and I'm sure that next year will be great. We will strive. I've seen our teamwork, and I know it's one of our greatest assets. We've worked hard and well for every poster making, full building day, and rally setup. We've worked long hours and have lots and lots of dedication. I'm proud of our class's hard work and determination, and sophomores, you should be too. Our school year was cut short due to COVID-19. And I know it's disappointing. And I know it's hard to believe at times. Many of my fundraising plans had to be cut, had to be thrown away due to this very strange situation. But that's okay. We are strong. We are capable. We are adaptable and resourceful. We will strive as people and as a class. To close off, I would like to say thank you to our two wonderful advisors, Mr. Murray and Lieutenant Colonel Harrison, for all the help and support and many hours they have given to our class. They could have easily chose to not advise our class but they chose to be our advisors, and I thank them for that. Mr. Murray, Colonel Harrison, I would like to say that we truly appreciate everything you have done for our class. And I, could, I couldn't have personally done it without you. As our year comes to a close, I would like to say thank you and good job to the class of 2022. Here's to a fresh new year. Thank you, and please stay safe. Thank you, Mikkel, and congratulations on a job well done for sophomore year. Next, we'll hear back again from Colonel Harrison and Mr. Murray for the class award recipient. Good morning, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Gavin Harrison, and it's my pleasure this morning to uh, present our uh, the class advisors for the class of 2022, Mr. Joe Murray and myself, uh, have uh, decided who is our winner this year for the class award for the class of 22 uh, student government. And it was it was a no-brainer this year for us. Uh, we, we've selected uh, Mikhail Malari. And Mikhail is a guy who has understood and demonstrated at a very young age that leadership is not being the overbearing 
bossy person. Leadership is someone who is measured and thoughtful and considerate, both considerate, considerate of other people and considerate of the decisions that he has to make at the top. And uh, we're losing him as our president next year, but I know that other organizations here within the school and well into the future are gonna be looking for Mikhail to uh, be a leader in their programs and their uh, organizations as well. So Mikhail, congratulations thank you. and thank you for all the hard work you did for us this year. Really appreciate your leadership and keeping that class together. And here's a little, uh, here's a plaque uh, that <coughs> You sit on your desk and remind you of all the stuff that you've done here. And you've got a long time left in high school. So uh, we expect to see a lot more things out of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sophomores, and congratulations on another successful year. We will now be hearing from Mrs. Whitsack to introduce the junior class. To my juniors, class of 2021, I really wish we were all together today and enjoying this time together. Um, but... We can't be. So let's take a look at our year, okay? Um, this year was definitely a year of growth, maturity, acceptance and understanding, and flexibility, for sure. We did a lot of things this year. We had several fundraisers, chilies, Chick-fil-A, Snap Rays, World's Finest Chocolate. Yeah, lots of World's Finest Chocolate. Mariposa homemade ice cream, Gravita bracelets, water, always water. We learned that we could create a poster for rallies in one day. Yeah, can be done. Float building hours and hours of work, producing an engineering masterpiece. Um, purple. We all know now that my favorite color is purple, but not a pal. Prom, we finally selected our venue and we were so excited. Flower fields at Carlsbad, enchanted garden. We planned, we dreamed, we were preparing for a magical evening. Everything was falling into place. It was going to be amazing and then COVID. COVID-19. Well, really messed up our plans, but we were able to prove that we could stay connected, continue to check on each other, and showed that we were a team and that we were not going to give up. And we're not. This has year, been a year where we've definitely learned a lot of things. We've gone through a lot together and we've made it through. And it's just really, really emphasized our class motto. We may not have it all together, but together we have it all. I'd first like to um, thank our wonderful officers this year. Um, Katie Meeks, our, our president, and um, Marshall Mori, our vice president, and Riley Wu, our secretary treasurer. You three have done an incredible job of leadership and I'm very, very proud of you. The other members in our class are Jackie Aragawa, Benjamin Applegate, Jenna Daniels, Giovanni De La Torre, Michael Ekin, Kaylee Gibson, Holly Golay, Greg Goldman, Amber Hansen, Anissa Johnson, Hallie Just, Elizabeth Lee, Jessica Lopresti, Layla Lothrop, Nathan Martinez, Latre Colum. Gavin Miller, Grace Ostra, Ali Patain, Holly Petrucci, Graham Rowland, Sharia Thamanum, Ty Thurgan, Catherine Turong, 
Gilbert Arai, Velasanar, Kevin Wallace, Emily Westville, Allison White, Jacqueline O, and Jacob Sinsiner. I'm proud of each and every one of you. I am humbled and honored to be your class advisor, and I love you all bunches. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon. Thank you, Ms. Witsack, for your kind words. We will now be hearing from the junior class president, Katie Meeks, to hear a recap of the year and to give their advisor a thank you. Hi, my name is Katie Meeks, and I am this year's junior class president. This year has been interesting, to say the least. I feel that we were kind of stripped of a lot of opportunities, but our class has definitely made the most of the year that we had. We started with making an amazing homecoming float, and then we started planning and organizing what would have been an amazing prom. Along with that, we also uh, performed really efficient class meetings, and we created amazing rally posters. With that, um, on behalf of my fellow officers and the class of 2021, we want to say thank you to Ms. Witzak, because without her, we wouldn't be where we are now. She has been our rock, and she has helped us through everything that we have done this year. And we put together a little basket for her of all of the things that she'll enjoy, so we're really excited to give that to her. Moving forward, I want to say that I am so grateful to have served for such an amazing class, and I'm so proud of what we have accomplished. And I'm so excited to see what our new class officers have to bring to the table and what our senior year has to offer. Thank you. Thank you so much, Katie. We will now be hearing from Mrs. Witzak once again to award the class award to one of their outstanding juniors. Well, Riley, um, this is a pretty important award. It's it's the class award. Oh. Yes. And, you know, I, I have everybody in the class to choose from. And it's a tough thing to do. But you immediately came to mind for me. Thank you. Because you won your nomination off the floor last year to come on and be our secretary treasurer. And you came in and you have done an amazing job. Thank you. You Thank have you. you have brightened our class Thank because you. you are always positive, smiling. You're always there. I think <laughs> you have the best attendance record of anybody in our class for everything. <laughs> You're always there. You're always leading by example. And you have so much integrity Thank you. and responsibility. And I just love you, girl. Thank you. Love you Here you go. Thank you. And there's a little baggie if you want. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take you out the baggie. Congratulations on such a successful year, class of 2021. Next, we'll be hearing from the senior class advisor, Ms. Kaylee Olslin, for her remarks. Hi everyone, to my seniors, I cannot believe how fast these four years have flown by. I am so grateful to be your advisor and to have been on this journey with you through VISTA. As I reflect on everything, I can honestly say that this still by far is my favorite year with you. I am so grateful for the monthly events that we did get to hold and all the memories you've created and shared with the class of 2020 members and although life threw a little bit of a curveball I hope you don't focus on that and instead you focus and remember on everything you've accomplished here at Vista and your all the time and effort and hours and just living at the school to get to these moments because I know all the hard work you put in and you should be really proud of yourselves and I'm unbelievably proud of you and uh, to the families watching I hope you are too. Um, although part of me is really sad that I don't get to see your beautiful faces every day on campus next year. I am grateful to know that wherever you go in the world people get to experience you the same way I did. Um, you all truly are just an amazing group and just talented and creative and inspiring and I am beyond blessed to be your advisor. I'm trying not to cry but I'm going to. Um, 
and I will definitely miss you all dearly. So, um, but just know that you can always call me anytime you need anything and, um, always come back to visit. Um, so like I said, I'm just, I'm unbelievably proud of each and every one of you and I am sending you hugs because I can't be there to hug you right now. But, um, really, I just, I love you all. So, okay. So now I read all your names and bear with me because I'm going to try not to cry, um, as I do this. So, okay. Amanda Acuna. Madison Alomar. McLeod Atwood. Mackenzie Bendel. Courtney Caldera. RJ Cardenas. Layla Cordova. Elise Cottrell. Jacob Covington. Aliyah Eid. Kiana Furlong. Kiana Garcia. Brittany Hadway. Isaiah Haney. Julia Johnson. Andrea Kaiser. Hope Kearney. Alicia LeClaire. Coralia Lopez. Italy. I, I don't know how to say your last name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jackie Margolis. Ivana Mitchell. Brittany Nguyen. Wesley Olson. Tabby Plume. Cassidy Potter. Timmy. Timmy. Erica Velasco. And Iris Zillow. Um, once again, I just, I love you all so much, and I'm really proud of you, and I, until next time, I will see you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Olson. Now, please welcome Cassidy Potter, our senior class president, for her senior remarks and speech. Hello, my name is Cassidy Potter, and I'm your senior class president. And I'm Erica Velasco, your co-vice president. I'm Wesley Olson, and I'm also your co-vice president. I know this year didn't end the way we wanted or expected, but we sincerely thank you all for being so supportive through all of this. I'm super proud of all of our seniors and how we've dealt with this unfortunate situation. We'd like to take the time to thank all of our seniors for everything that you've helped contribute to making all of our events possible and special. Thank you for showing up to school extra early for meetings and poster makings and staying extra late for rally setups. And thank you for having faith in us. This year, we took on the challenge of having one senior event per month, and we made each and every one of them bigger and better than the next. We'd also like to give a huge thank you to our class advisor, Mrs. Kaylee Olson. She has been so supportive of all of our dreams and visions, no matter how big or costly they were. If we were out there working hard to put something together, she was right there with us working just as hard, if not harder. If we were there at 6 a.m. setting up, or, or even 11 at night, tearing down, so was she. We thank you all for all of your hard work you have put into our class. As a small token for our appreciation, the class has put together a map of where we plan on taking our next big step. Thank you, Mrs. Kaylee. We hope this gift reminds you of our four successful years together and remember all the moments in between. We appreciate each and every one of you, and I wish we could have given us seniors more amazing memories, but this year was inevitably out of our control. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be your class officers. We're sad that this year ended so soon. We wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors, and we can't wait to see what we all become. Thank you. Thank you, Cassidy, and congratulations to a successful senior year. Finally, let's hear back from Ms. Kaylee Olson one more time to recognize our senior class officers 
and to award the class award recipient. Italy, thank you so much for all that you have done for the class of 2020 as secretary. So now I present to you your vote. Thank you. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> thank you. Wesley Olson, I appreciate all that you have done as vice president for our senior class and all the amount of hours and hard work you put in. And I just love you dearly because I present to you your medal. Thank you. Erica, thank you so much for all of your hard work as Vice President for our class and just all your creativity and all your advertisements and everything. I just appreciate all that you've thank done. You. So I present to you your medal. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Cassidy, so I am presenting to you the award for Senior Class President. And once again, I just appreciate all that Thank you class. so much. Hey, Cassidy. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Thank you. Let's see that. Thank you. Also, okay. With that, um, we. Oh, I, I do the advisor. <laughs> um, so this person that I've chosen, honestly, I I could not have done it all by myself. Um, she made everything so much easier and she's just so classy and just overall an amazing leader and I'm so grateful that to have her as our class president so for our my class award or the the advisor award it's Cassidy Potter that I picked so um love you and um, I'm just, I'm unbelievably grateful for you and just everything you've done to help me as an advisor and you're just on top of it. Thank you seniors and congratulations on one last successful year. Wish you all the best. We will now be hearing from our advisor, Ms. Kush, for a message. Good evening leadership students, parents, advisors, and administrators. Thank you so much for joining us tonight as we celebrate the incredible achievements of our student senate and associated student body. Although I wish we were all squeezed in tight, seated at the 60-inch rounds in the main gym, dressed in our Sunday best, eating tacos for the traditional President's Farewell Banquet, I am truly grateful for this opportunity to honor the hard work and dedication of our leadership students. One year ago, I quietly snuck into the gym as Kelsey Waite presented her President's Farewell. I vividly remember her talking about how Vista Marietta High School represented a fresh start, a new beginning full of opportunity. She stood on the stage poised, confident, and clearly well-equipped to forge ahead into the world with grace and compassion. I knew instantly that I was making the right choice accepting the ASB director position here at Vista Marietta High School. I too needed a fresh start, a new beginning full of hope and promise that what I do matters and makes a difference. You all gave me a chance, thank you. I know it has not been an easy road for you. There have been some tough things experienced by the leadership students. Seniors, I am your third advisor in four years. However, you gave me the benefit of the doubt with class, the Bronco way. I know it wasn't always easy. We certainly had some bumps along the road, but I am confident that we are all better for it. Seniors, I am truly going to miss you. Don't forget that you are awesome. Remember that when faced with a challenge, you have all the tools necessary to move onward and upward. Please keep in touch. Drop in from time to time or send a quick text or email to let us know what wonderful things you are doing in the world. We will continue to be your cheerleaders as you journey through life. To the rest of you, we just finished the weirdest, most non-traditional year of high school any of us ever could have imagined. While there are still many unknowns as we move into the upcoming school year, I'm confident that we will continue to make magic for our campus community. Trust that no matter the obstacles and challenges that lie ahead, we will navigate them together with positive intentions. Please know how much each and every one of you has made a difference in my life. Thank you parents for your unyielding support. We ask a lot of your kiddos and by extension, you as well. We could not do what we do without your support. Fancy ham. Words cannot express how eternally grateful I am to you as a constant source of moral support, context and knowledge. You have truly became, become one of my dearest friends. To all the Bronco ladies, thank you for your help filling in the void when needed. 
You all carry yourself with a smile and a can-do attitude that permeates and makes VMHS truly a special place to be. Janelle Cox, you jumped right in to fill in the blanks when Mrs. Pasciuto needed to turn her full attention to her family. I couldn't have survived without you. Class advisors, you rock. Thank you for partnering with me and executing your role as advisors with love, positivity, humor, and unquestionable dedication. Thank you. To the greater leadership team, BBC, Link Crew, Plus, and Renaissance, your contributions to the leadership program are what allow us to set VMHS apart as truly one of the outstanding leadership programs around. We are excellent because of the work we all do. Administrative team, your support has been unyielding. Thank you for trusting me in this role and standing behind me as we were faced with tough decisions and incredible challenges. I have always felt that I have a team behind me to support all that we do as a leadership program. There are countless others who helped us in both big and small ways. I see you and I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you again to all of you for joining us tonight. We still have lots to celebrate. Much love to you all. Thank you, Ms. Kush, for all that you have said and thank you for all your hard work and dedication this year. Now we will be she will be presenting the four-year pins to all those that have been in this program for all four years of their high school career. At this time, I would like to honor those seniors who have earned a four-year pin. These students have been dedicated to the VMHS leadership program, specifically Senate and or ASB throughout the last four years. Madison Alomar. McLeod Atwood. Courtney Caldera, Kiana Furlong, Kiana Garcia, RJ Cardenas, Jacob Covington, Isaiah Haney, Julia Johnson, Andrea Kaiser, Alicia LeClaire, Jacqueline Margolis, Brittany Nguyen, Wesley Olson, Cassidy Potter, and finally, Timmy Perkosny. Thank you. Congratulations to our four year leaders. Ms. Kush will now be presenting our most inspirational and leader of the year awards. One student from each class and from each program will receive these awards. Congratulations to you all, you've definitely earned it. It is an honor to announce the next set of awards. Each year, in both Senate and ASB, the leadership students vote amongst themselves to award a student in each grade level for being most inspirational or the outstanding leader of the year. These students went the extra mile and have stood out as leaders amongst leaders. Congratulations to each of our recipients. Your recognitions are certainly well-deserved. We'll start with the Student Senate. Our freshman most inspirational goes to Adipi Gudapati. Our sophomore most inspirational goes to Andrea Nuno. Our junior most inspirational goes to Holly Golay. And our senior, most inspirational in Senate, McLeod Atwood. For ASB, our freshman, most inspirational, congratulations, Jigger Patel. Our sophomore, most inspirational, Reagan Seneth. Our junior, most inspirational, goes to Marshall Mori. And our senior most inspirational award in ASB goes to Andrea Kaiser. Congratulations. And now for our Outstanding Leader of the Year, again, we'll start with Student Senate. Our freshman Outstanding Leader of the Year, congratulations, Brooke Hamilton. Our sophomore Outstanding Leader of the Year goes to Michaela Batista. Our junior Outstanding Leader of the Year, Congratulations, Emily Westfall. And our senior Outstanding Leader of the Year in the Student Senate, 
Mackenzie Bindel. For ASB, our Outstanding Leader of the Year for the freshman class, congratulations, Peyton Hensley. Our sophomore Outstanding Leader of the Year goes to Jazzy Wagers. Our junior Outstanding Leader of the Year, Holly Petrucci. And our senior Outstanding Leader of the Year in ASB goes to Hope Kearney. Congratulations. Very, very proud of you. The Student Senate and the Associated Student Body are student-led programs. Elected officers serve on cabinet and provide student leadership within each program. These students work tirelessly to ensure the program is running smoothly and are always looking for innovative ways for us to grow and be better. Better for ourselves through character development. Better for our student body seeking ways to be more inclusive. Better for our staff to partner in creating an engaging environment for learning and better for our greater community. Cabinet members are the first to arrive at events and the last to leave. They work with me in the evenings, on weekends, and on holidays to ensure we are prepared to provide the best guidance possible. As we serve the student body and greater community to create a positive and inclusive environment in the planning and execution of events. A special shout out and thank you to the 2019-2020 cabinet members of the Student Senate and Associated Student Body. We'll start with Student Senate. Kiana Furlong, Secretary. Madison Alomar, Parliamentarian. Kiana Garcia, Speaker. And McLeod Atwood, Speaker. For the Associated Student Body, RJ Cardenas, Sergeant at Arms. Brittany Hadway, Secretary. Timmy Perkosimi, Secretary. Jackie Margolis, Treasurer. Isaiah Haney, Vice President. And last but not least, Andrea Kaiser, President. Thank you again. Thank you cabinet members for all your hard work and dedication this past year. Now each cabinet member will be giving the legacy of war to the freshman of their choice. Okay, so we are here today to award Jalen with the legacy award. So here's your medallion. Thank you. And I need a little poster for you, so here you go. Um, so the legacy award each senior gets to pick a freshman and I have picked Jalen because she is so sweet and so kind and I see so much potential in her and every time I look at her during Senate she's always working so hard and just being an amazing leader and I really love you and I look up to you a lot and so I am leaving my legacy with you and I know you're going to do great things in the future and I am so very proud of you so congrats. Thank you. Okay, so the um, seniors each get to pick one word for this for the freshmen that they have chosen. And so the word I picked for you is serving because you are always so dedicated and serving to the entire program and to each leader inside of it. And um, like I mentioned, every time I look at you, you're always working so hard and serving everybody that you can. And so I'm very proud of you. So, Thank you. Yay! <laughs> <All right. laughs> when I was at one of my lowest points and I could not I could possibly make an impact anymore. This one person gave me hope. She gave me something to hold on to. All it took was one glance at this girl and I knew everything would somehow be all right. She looked up to me and still loved me despite everything I've been through. And I don't think she will ever be able to understand just how much that meant. I admire the way she was able to brighten a room just by simply being in it. I've had the honor and the absolute blessing to call this girl my friend. I've learned just how much she doubts herself and doesn't always believe in what she could do. Although I will be leaving, I want you to know just how much I believe in you. Whenever you're nervous, anxious, or fear you cannot, I want you to remember how much you are tr truly capable of. Your heart is genuine and pure. When you love, you love with all of you, and that's just another trait of yours that I adore. I am so blessed that I've gotten to be loved by your kind heart. There are seven billion people in this world, but there will always be a need for more just like you. Your positive and encouraging energy makes my heart the happiest. I need you to never lose your beautiful sense of wonder. I need you to never be discouraged to chase your dreams. I need you to remember to love yourself always because we're quite remarkable. I need you to never lose your hope for what this program is and could be. I need you to keep being you. You are amazing. 
When I think about what I wish to leave behind and how I want to leave a legacy, it's through you. You are my hope for this program. Everything you stand for is what this program will always need. You continue to tell me how much I've made an impact on you. However, it is you that I will forever adore. You are my hero. Your smile and laughter is infectious. Your love and positivity is contagious. You shine, you glow. Aditi, you are radiant. Oh my God, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kiana. I'm Nathan. Oh, <laughs> you're good. You're good. Um, so I'm awarding Nathan the Legacy Award. So I have a little speech. So the word I chose to describe Nathan is determined. I chose this word because I got the honor of watching you grow into an amazing leader over the past school year. Um, the passion you have for Senate and school it speaks volumes and I truly believe you're going to make a huge impact in the next coming years at VISTA. Um, determination is an essential skill to have as a leader because many curveballs will be thrown your way over the next few years, but I know that you will be able to get through it and everything and I know you'll be able to persevere and make a difference in the leadership class and the student body. So I'm so excited to see what you do over the next three years. So I'm going to award you your medal. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I hope that the leaders after me learn to show their passion for what they do, stand up for what they believe in, but most importantly, get excited over the small things. The things any ordinary person would look over because those seemingly meaningless moments are almost always the ones I hold closest to my heart. So when you ask me what I want my legacy to be, I want it to be you. Jordan Bazza, you are so pure, genuine, <laughs> and have a heart of gold. All of your crazy ideas have blown me away and all the heartfelt projects you've started over quarantine. Your passion and determination for all that you do is truly admirable. You're someone who cherishes the people around them, continues to push the limits, has a passion for helping others, and definitely gets excited about the small things. My advice to you, leave everyone in awe wherever you go and continue to show them your kind and compassionate heart. In just your first year, you've set the bar for what an ambitious leader looks like. You make me so proud and hopeful for the bright future ahead of you. Jordan Bosner, you are astounding in every single way. Oh boy, I can't get it. Here we go. Yay! I love you so much. <laughs> hey Cole, sorry I couldn't be there in person to give you this award, but I can do this. Um, I just want to say congratulations and you have such high leadership potential and I hope you can achieve it. You know, one of the things when I see you is I think of um, how often your leadership shows. So think of the great basketball players in the world like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. You know, they weren't only great players, but they're great leaders and they did it consistently, game after game after game. And that's what I see in you. I see you doing great leadership skills, event after event after event. And I hope you can just keep that up and you'll probably come out of this as being one of, the, one of the greatest. So congratulations and keep it up, brother. All right, Peyton, well, hello. Um, I'm here to present you with an award as Sergeant at Arms for uh, ASB 2020. Um, I present you this award. The word I chose for you and all the work that you've done is ambitious. You do so much for the program and I see you just doing great things, whether it be in ASB or VMHS or outside of school, just in your future, I see bright things because you're so ambitious. So I want to present you with my award as Sergeant at Arms. Thank you. I present my legacy award to Chloe and I chose the word champion because that's what I think she's going to leave on this Vista Marietta campus. A champion always stands up and advocates for people even if they are standing alone. And something that's super admirable about Chloe is that she's always looking to better both the program and the school and that's exactly what a champion does. And I know that no matter what we asked of her in the like in class, whether it was her peers or Mrs. Cush or cabinet, she was always ready to put 110% into everything she did. So here you go. Thank you. Put it on. 
Oh, whatever you want. <laughs> Yay! So, I'm Jackie Margolis. I'm the ASB treasure. So, if we were at our actual leadership banquet, I'd be going up on stage um, and I'd be presenting my legacy award to you, but you wouldn't know it was you yet. So, I wanted to do it my speech in the same way to mm -hmm. kind of give it more like a realistic feel. So, I'm honored to be able to give my legacy award to an individual who never fails to smile or bring positivity where she goes. It was a pleasure to be able to be in a class with you and see how you interact and work with others. Especially being a freshman, this girl is always helping out and stepping up when needed. She carries positive energy wherever she goes and there's not one time I can recall where I wasn't smiled back when making eye contact with her. For some reason, since the first day, I saw a lot of her in me when I was a freshman because of the way she went about things. She was always focused and willing to lend a hand. It's a bummer that the year got cut short and we couldn't get closer, but I'm so excited to see what she does in the next few years of high school and I know without a doubt she'll be amazing. And the word I chose for you, Lana, is charismatic. So, yay! Woohoo! Awesome! So, for the Legacy Award, I'm so sad I can't make it there in person and present this. But the word I chose for my freshman is character. And character, I chose this word because character is very important to me. I think very important to the program in general. And this freshman, they exemplified it beyond any standard I had. And just watching them in class and kind of grow out throughout the year really showed me their character because they weren't very talkative, they weren't very loud, the spotlight wasn't always on them, but they kept to themselves. They always did what was asked, they'd always come to ask me if there's anything they could help with, what they could do. We're at setup, just helping out, coming to me, like seeing what they can do. And it's really appreciated. And you know, sometimes you think that stuff goes unnoticed because they're not very loud, but I always noticed it, I always kept tabs on it. And I really appreciated it. And this freshman, they remind me a lot of myself freshman year coming in. And that's another big reason why I chose it, chose them. And it's just, it's good to see we have the program in good hands with someone like this, someone who's a freshman who was able to see like, who I was hopefully able to wear off on and just like progress the program with them. And the person I chose, I'm sure most people know, would be my guy, Aiden. I just want to say thank you to Aiden, the homie. It's, um, it was, I'm pretty sad I was only able to have one year with you in ASB, but I know, I know we'll be able to kick it more with you and your brothers. So I'm pretty hyped to see what you'll do in the future and you deserve this. So glad I could give it to you, bro. Um, I awarded you the Freshman Legacy Award with the word high spirited. Whenever we see you in ASB or just around school, you're always like jumping up and down, have a wonderful smile on your face. And like, you remind me a lot of me, like super excited, high spirited. And so I wanted to award you this Legacy Award because I know that even though you won't be returning to this the next year, and you're moving to Tennessee, that wherever you go, you're gonna be high spirited. Thank you. And you'll have a part of the Vista leadership and all of that energy with you. And I'm so excited for whatever you do in your future, because I know you'll do it with Grace and be high spirited in it all. Thank you. So, I'm so proud of you. I love you so much, Liv. I love you too. I love ASB. <laughs> Congratulations to all the freshmen who have received a Legacy Award. Next up, Please welcome to the screen your Speaker of Senate, McLeod Atwood, for her speaker remarks. Hello everybody, and thank you so much for being a part of our banquet today. My name is McLeod Atwood, and this year's Speaker of Senate. Being in Senate this year has truly been amazing, and I'm so very sad to see it go. It is my sincerest hope that everyone in this program can walk away with a smile and say, it was all worth it, I made a difference, and I had fun. Being a part of the Senate class is quite a memorable once in a lifetime experience and I'm truly honored to have served with you this year. One of my favorite things about the Senate class is their personalities. Each leader has their own perspective and soul that is so unique, wherein how they dedicate so much of their time, energy, and their entire heart to this program and they all bring something new and exciting to the class. Every single one of you is important and needed in this program. I love sitting on cabinet and on the podium each day seeing your smiles and seeing your faces light up to see one another. Even if you were not listening during the meetings, I absolutely love seeing you all connect with each other, making new friends, creating lifelong friendships, and enjoying one another's company. 
I know I can say on behalf of the entire cabinet, we are so very proud of each and every one of you and what you've accomplished this year. I have absolutely loved watching each of you grow and learn throughout this year, and I love you all dearly. Everything you guys did and accomplished did not go unnoticed. I'm so very proud of you guys. I cannot wait to see what is in store for the coming years. Even though our year got cut short, you guys have all been outstanding. Staying positive, creating new ways to uplift and reach out to one another, as well as plan new events during quarantine and for the year to come. You are all in good hands and are going to do marvelous things next year. You guys are remarkable and have left an impact on me. I remember this class forever and I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you so much. morning I hope you're all doing well I miss you all and think about you daily I hope you're staying safe careful and enjoying some time with your family um, I've been trying to make the most of the situation and been playing games with the kiddo and my husband and fixing things around the house I've done a couple of puzzles spent some time in the garden um, we're cooking a lot and we've also, I've been going on runs every day. I feel like I should be getting better at it. It's still a little bit hard. I usually run about four miles a day. So maybe I'll be in shape at the end of all of this. Um, this is still early on in this whole situation. So please just keep in touch with me. Let's figure this out together and make the most of a really strange, weird situation. Anyway, much love, stay awesome, keep your head up and let me know if you need anything. We will now be hearing from our ASB class president, Andrea Kaiser, for a president's farewell. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for our virtual banquet. As many of you know, my name is Andrea and I'm the current ASB president for Vista Marietta High School. If you know me, you know that for as long as I can remember, I've been passionate about leadership. 
Anywhere I go, I try to find a club, a group, a program that I've been able to get involved in and to make a difference alongside many other people. And the last four years, VMHS leadership has been that platform for me. And I'm so absolutely thankful for everyone that has been around me and has helped me become the leader and young woman I am today. Looking back on just this year and as being ASP president, there's only one word I can think of, and that word is grateful. Looking back, and even though our year was cut, unfortunately incredibly short, I am so grateful that I got to serve as ASB president alongside my fellow cabinet and astounding, inspirational change makers and humble heroes. I am so grateful that I got to watch every individual grow into a fantastic leader. The phrase leadership is action, not position has been the phrase that I've been trying to embody these last four years. Being junior class and ASB president was never about the title, the position, or the name and recognition. Rather, it was what I could do with it. And something that I've been passionate about is empowering other leaders to realize that they don't need a title to make a difference. Whether you have a crazy commission, you're a class officer, or are just somebody with the committee, you can make a difference as long as you set your heart to it. Looking back, it's crazy that my four years have gone up so quickly. It doesn't feel like it goes that fast, but before you know it, it flashes your eyes. And in this case, it flashed before my eyes a little faster than the seniors anticipated. However, I would not change anything I've done in the last four years at all because it has helped me grow and it's all been part of an experience. The blood, sweat, and tears that I've literally had on campus in the ASB room, uh, arriving at school before the sun rose and not leaving till after the sun set, all of these things are memories that I will hold and I cherish forever. However, this position would not be possible without the support and love I have been given. So thank you to my parents, my mom, my dad, my brother Andrew, my sister Amanda for um, supporting me in all my crazy ideas and literally sitting with me for hours at non-con setups and campaigning. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you to my fellow cabinet, um, Isaiah, my vice president, my secretaries, Timmy and Brittany, my treasurer, Jackie, and my sergeant of arms, RJ. I appreciate you guys and all my crazy ideas and getting on my level during meetings and staying at my speed and always standing behind me. I appreciate your support more than you know. Thank you to our current advisor and the last two advisors I've had. It's definitely been crazy that we've had four, three advisors in the last four years, but with one thing that came with this inevitable change came growth. And not only have I grown, but I've watched the leadership program go, grow, and I've enjoyed, that has definitely been my favorite part of being president, is watching every single person grow. Whether I've known you for four years, since middle school, or just met you this year, watching you grow and watching you from interviews all the way to now grow and change into a strong leader has been my favorite part. I know that sometimes I had to be the mean person that told you guys to be quiet, put your phone away, and listen to me while we're in long meetings. Um, but it's definitely been, it's definitely been a ride. And even though I had to be that mean guy sometimes, I wouldn't change it. And I thank you guys for, even if I sounded a little annoyed for making this last year, absolutely amazing. It's crazy to think that it's coming to an end, but I'm thankful for you guys. Thank you for your support and thank you for all your love you've given. I'm so excited to see what you guys do in the next years. And even though I won't be there, I know that once you're a Bronco, you're always a Bronco. And so thank you for making my last four years amazing. And this is Andrea Kaiser, your current ASB president, signing out. Goodbye. Thank you. And we have one more thank you. So thank you to Miss Kush and Miss Pichito, our wonderful advisor, for all your hard work and dedication. This program would not be what it is without all of your help and hard work through this whole year. Yeah, so without further ado, here's a little video compiled from all of our leadership students with a little something they'd like to say. We hope you guys enjoy. Hello, Mrs. Kush and Mrs. Fancy Ham. I just wanted to thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Mrs. Kush, this was only your first year. Mrs. Pichuda, this was only your second. And you guys came into this program with open arms, ready to learn, ready to serve, ready to experience. And that's exactly what you guys did. You guys worked so, so hard these past couple years and it has not gone unnoticed. We saw the 12 plus hour work days you guys put into this program and we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. I 
I'm so thankful I got to know you both. You guys have been such a blessing, not only to me, but just the school in general. I love you both so much, and I hope to see you guys soon. Hi, Ms. Kush and Ms. Prosciutto. Thank you so much for taking me in as a new senior this year and making me feel loved and giving me an opportunity to serve the school. Have a wonderful time, and as always, stay classy. Hi, Ms. Kush. Thank you so much for being there for me. I know moving into a new school and it being your first year was so difficult, but you did an amazing job, and I'm so glad to have you as an advisor. You taught me so much, and you really challenged me and pushed me to be who I am today and just the best version of myself. So thank you so much for all the hard work you've put in and uh, putting up with me every single day and all my crazy stories. So thank you endlessly, and I'm going to miss you so much. Hi Fancy Ham, thank you so much for being an amazing role model to me and always being there for me whenever I was down and you've really just helped and shaped me into who I am today and I can't thank you enough for that. And I've really cherished all the times you spent in the student store and all the times I've annoyed you and told you about all my crazy problems but you always were there to listen and lend a helping hand whenever you could. And it's super cool that we're both related to Beyonce, <laughs> don't tell anybody but I've just really enjoyed every single moment we've shared together and I love your little grandbabies, they're so sweet and we're definitely gonna keep in touch because you have shaped me into who I am today and I just really adore you and I love you so much. Hi Mrs. Kush and Mrs. Pashuto. I just wanna give a big thanks for all the time and effort both of you guys put into the leadership program as well as the school campus. I am constantly inspired by how kind goal-driven and strong-willed both of you guys are and you two are definitely people that not only me but many more people can rely on if we need any help. I can't wait to make many more memories with both of you. I love you both. Mwah. Hi Mrs. Gush, hi Mrs. P. The love and admiration I hold for both of you is far too grand to be captured in just a few seconds so I just want to say thank you so much for all your hard work and dedication to this program. It would certainly not be the same without you. Thank you for all your support throughout the year. Much love, well wishes. Hi, Ms. Gish. Hi, Ms. Prashida. We just wanted to say thank you for such a wonderful year. and We're gonna miss you guys so much. Thank you so much for all you did this year for us. Even though it was cut short, we really appreciate all the hard work you put in. And um, just thank you so much again for everything you did. Bye. Hey, Miss P. Hey, Miss Kush. So I just want to thank you guys for everything you've done um, this school year for us. Um, thank you, Miss Kush, for taking on this new school like a champ, like a straight G. Uh, you did great um, transitioning to us and getting acclimated with how we run as a school and as a program. Um, so much respect to you, Miss P. Thank you for being one of the strongest people. Um, in our program and in our staff um, through everything you went through this year. Um, you stuck through it and I respect that and I admire that. And yeah, you always bring um, happiness and joy whenever you walk into your room. Your smile just lifts everybody up and puts everybody in a good mood. So yeah, thank you guys for everything and I'm glad that I get to work with you guys next year. Hey. Uh, I just want to say thank you, Mrs. Kush and Mr. Prosciutto, for an awesome year. It's really been great, and I've learned a lot. And um, my favorite memory would be Pally. I learned a good lesson. No purpling. <laughs> but um, overall, it's been really great to have you guys teach me all the leadership skills. And I'm really looking forward to next year and what I can learn more. So thank you. Hey, Mrs. Pachuto and Mrs. Kush. I just wanted to say thank you for all of the hard work you guys have done this year and we truly appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Kush. Hi, Ms. Pachuto. I just want to say we had such an amazing year and we couldn't have done it without you guys. So you guys rock. You're the best and I love you. Hi, Mrs. Kush and Ms. Pachuto. Thank you so much for all you have done this year. We really appreciate it. Hi, Fancy Ham. I would just like to thank you for the amazing year I had. Thank you for really making me feel welcome at Vista Marietta High School and in the student store. You really made it easy on me. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Kush. Thank you so much for everything you've done for our class this year. I'm so grateful to have had you as a teacher, and I can't wait for next year. Hey, Ms. Kush. Hey, Ms. Pachuto. Thank you for everything you've done for this program and for our school. I love you guys so much. You guys mean so much to me. Thank you. 
Hi, Miss P. Hi, Miss Kush. I miss you all so much. I love you, and I want you to know that everybody in the class loves you. You guys are amazing leaders, and I miss you, and thank you for all your hard work. We all appreciate it. Mwah. Hi, Miss Kush. Hope your family and you are all doing well. I just want to say thank you for the amazing year we had, and I'm very sad it came to an end. Can't wait to see you next year. One as a program. Um, so much respect to you, Miss P. Thank you for being one of the strongest people um, in our program. Hi, Miss Fancy Ham. Hi, Miss Kush. I just want to say thank you for the great year. I'm Miss Fancy Ham. I'm glad that we got to be in that big bird game together. And then, Miss Kush, thank you so much for even letting me eat a sandwich under your desk. It's highly appreciated. Thank you very much. Hi, Miss Kush. Hi, Miss Pichuto. I just wanted to thank you so, so much for everything that you've done for us and myself and the program this year. Your hard work really shows, and I can't wait for next year with you guys. Love you both. Hi, Miss Kush. Hi, Miss P. I just want to say thank you so much for everything you did for our, our whole leadership class this year. That includes ASB Anson and all the other work you guys did uh, around school. You guys really made our school a better place and it's a better environment to be at. So I just want to thank you so much for all your hard work. And um, we don't know how next year's going to be. We don't know how all, all this stuff is going to play out. But we know that we're going to be we're in good hands and we have you guys to lead us through. So thank you so much for such a great year. And I'm looking forward to next year. Thank you. Hi, Miss P. Hi, Miss Kush. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all you do for both our class and the school. Your guys' hard work definitely doesn't go unnoticed. Hi, Fancy Ham. Hi, Kush. I just want to say thank you so, so much for being a part of my leadership journey this year. You've supported me through the good times, through the bad times, really just through it all. And you've been some of the greatest teachers and mentors I've ever, ever had the privilege of knowing. And I'm just going to miss you guys so, so much next year. Literally, you don't even know. But I know that you are going to bring this program to the greatest prosperity, growth, and success. And I just cannot wait to hear all about it. So I miss you and I love you so, so much. I'm so beyond blessed to have served on cabinet this year. It's been a pleasure watching each and every one of you grow into the wonderful leaders you are today. Even though my time has come to an end, I hope all of you know that I'll continue to be there for you and support you in all that you do. Being in this program takes hard work and determination, let alone being on cabinet. They don't give you a rule book or instruction manual on how to overcome the obstacles you'll face as a cabinet member. However, if there's anyone that I know that can do it, it's you. Which makes me so excited to be able to pass down the gavel to the one and only Hallie Jess. Her kind heart and dedication to this program over the past three years makes me so hopeful for the amount of success she'll have as next year's parliamentarian. It will be so stressful at times, but if I can teach you one last thing before I go, please never forget why you ran. Hold that reason close to your heart, because when you feel like every single thing is crumbling down and you have no clue how to fix it, your why, your passion, and the room full of 60 smiling leaders will help that you get to help and watch grow will make any obstacle you face worth overcoming. At least it did for me. I can't wait to hear about all the things you will accomplish next year. Congratulations. I'm so beyond proud of you having this. Promise me to have the time of your life. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I am so proud for Emily, our Speaker of Senate next year. Um, she works so hard and has completely earned this position and you guys are all in such good hands next year because she's going to do amazing things that I know you all are going to do amazing things. I am so very proud of you, Thank Emily. You. you are fantastic. So here you are. Congrats. Thank you. And yay to our new Speaker of Senate. <laughs> yay. Hey. hey, Graham. I'm super excited to see what you do next year. So here's the Vice President CEO. Okay, so Arai, this next year is probably going to be the best, but hardest year of your life, but if there's any person that I know can do this job, it's you. You are going to send your blood, sweat, and tears into this program like you already have, but every second of it is going to be worth it, and I'm so proud. I remember meeting you back at the summer retreat, and I didn't know who you were, but I've loved watching you grow as a leader, a student, and a friend, and I'm so excited to see what you do in the next year, and I know ASP is so lucky to have you. Yay! So you are now the official ASB president of the Samir Yetta High 
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, and that concludes the rest of the banquet. I just want to say thank you to everyone who tuned in, everyone who was a part of making this, who put this together. And I hope everyone is staying healthy, staying safe, and just have a good rest of your night, day, morning, whenever you're watching this. Just enjoy it and stay healthy and remember to stay social distancing. Thank you, Isaiah. And thank you, everybody, for watching today. We are so incredibly proud of everything you guys have accomplished this year. Next up, we have a senior slideshow in honor of the seniors in their last four years at Vista and what their future plans look like. If you'd like to see, stay tuned in.